Well, new tonight, hip hop producer, reality TV star, and Las Vegas resident Molly Mall admits to running a prostitution ring in Clark County for more than a decade. He pleaded guilty to several charges in federal court today. Prosecutors say his legal escort businesses were just a front. 13 Action News anchor Carla Wade is live tonight with more on the case and Molly Mall's history of legal troubles, Carla. Yeah, Trisha, the fans of Love and Hip Hop um, Hollywood, which aired on BH1, will recognize Molly Mall's name. He was on that show in 2014, and he's also worked with artists like Usher and Drake. 44-year-old Jamal Rashid, known by the name of Molly Mall, took a deal pleading guilty in federal court to unlawfully owning and operating a prostitution business. According to the plea agreement, he admitted to owning, operating, and managing several businesses in Clark County. We were even able to find county records of a lot of those now shut down businesses. Rashid confessed that several were disguised as legal escort services and operated between April of 2002 and September of 2014. It was back in 2014 that the FBI raided his Las Vegas home and the escort service Las Vegas Concierge. Rashid was being investigated at that time for alleged human trafficking. Rashid also admitted his credit card was used to pay for airfare and other travel related expenses and that he used paid websites like Backpage and Eros to advertise and that he enticed numerous women to engage in prostitution. There was even an investigation into claims Rashid was working with vice detectives within the Las Vegas Metropolitan Police Department. The U.S. Attorney's Office had this response to those claims. In the course of investigating Mr. Rashid, the U.S. Attorney's Office, in partnership with the FBI, did examine and develop information regarding allegations of related wrongdoing that generally have been the subject of media coverage. Following an extensive inquiry, we concluded that there was not sufficient evidence to support any additional charges relating to Mr. Rashid, his associates, or others, and therefore closed the investigation. In May of 2016, a fire broke out at his Las Vegas home, killing an exotic cat inside. Rashid is known for his love of exotic animals, often showing pics of them on his social media. And a raid of his Los Angeles home back in April turned up a serval cat and a spider monkey. Carla Wade, 13 Action News. Well, concerns from parents in Henderson tonight after police say an 11 year old student brought a gun to Dell Webb Middle School today. Now, police say staff was alerted about a student possibly having a gun on a bus in campus. The school was locked down while police investigated. Detectives found a nine millimeter gun in landscaping outside the school. The sixth grader was arrested and taken into custody. Turning now to our forecast, a pleasant night ahead before we get to enjoy another day in the 80s. Let's check in with Leah Pizzetti in for Danny tonight. Leah. Yeah, Trisha, beautiful day today, beautiful night tonight. Satellite and radar nice and clear we can see right now, which is perfect because there's a meteor shower tonight. After midnight is when it's going to be the best time to see it. So if you're still up right now, hey, head outside after our show is over and check out the meteors. You can see possibly 20 to 25 per hour right now. 65 degrees. So if you are going to head outside, maybe bring a jacket. It's a little bit cool outside. No winds in store and it's going to stay that way the next couple of days. Next couple of hours, we're going to stay in the 60s until about 6 a.m. tonight. We should get down to the 50s, overnight lows in the 50s, which happens just before sunrise heading into tomorrow. And then temperatures are warming on up. 80s in store. Las Vegas, 82 degrees. This is just the beginning. We're going to continue to warm this week. I'll have a look coming up in just a bit. Leah, thank you. Well, the pain and recovery lasts long after a tragedy like the one October shooting. The scars can be personal and have an impact on the entire community. This has been a major focus at the Leave No Victim Behind conference being held right here in Las Vegas this week. Clark County Deputy Fire Chief John Steinbeck spoke about his agency's response to one October. Steinbeck says that there is no roadmap for when someone will need help, but it's crucial to make sure help is available. There's artificial timelines that are put into place by certain laws, uh, but we can't tell whether or not somebody's going to need this assistance today or 10 years from now. And nearly 400 law enforcement agencies are attending the conference. 
which wraps up on Thursday. Well, a tough night on the road for the Golden Knights as they lost to the Philadelphia Flyers 6-2. There were several penalties called on the Knights. The team was finally able to get on the board in the third with a power play goal by Jonathan Marcheseau. Now, Riley Smith would add another goal later in the third, and the Knights head to Chicago to face the Blackhawks tomorrow. Puck drop at 5.30. Well, the holidays are approaching, and you have a golden opportunity to change change someone's life this season. We are proud to once again team up with the Vegas Golden Knights Foundation for 13 days and nights of giving. Now you can nominate a person or an organization you know who's struggling financially, physically or emotionally and together we can show them that they are valued. In December we will share their stories and provide them some much deserved support. So just log on to ktnv.com 13 days and tell us why they need the community's help. The 13 Connects 13 Days and Nights of Giving Holiday Program is sponsored by Subaru of Las Vegas, America First Credit Union, and the Vegas Golden Knights Foundation. Well, new at 11, a man escapes from custody even though he wasn't the guy police were looking for. The dramatic moments all caught on camera. Plus, Area 51 fallout, the terrifying threats, and never before heard exclusive details. 13 Investigates looks into the real cost of alien stock. And tis the season to get tipsy. A new holiday-themed pop-up bar is coming to the Valley. We'll have more on that. Stay with us. Guys out! Officers! Yeah, dramatic video out of New York shows a man escaped through an open back window of a police cruiser. The man was one of several people arrested while police look for a suspect involving a shooting. Now, the officer who tackled the man was treated for a leg injury. Well, new tonight, the legal gloves are coming off and there are allegations of sabotage, misuse of a porn sponsorship, even threats of violence. It's all connected to an event that started as a joke. Only 13 investigative reporter Joe Bartel spoke to all sides and breaks down the exclusive details. The event that received attention from around the world is about to end up in court. Both sides now pointing the finger and Connie West says she's fearing for her safety. And I've had people call my business and say they're a sniper. You know, they have us in sights. Don't turn around. Things like that. In this exclusive interview with 13 Investigates, event organizer Connie West is opening up about what happened before, during, and now after the Alien Stock Festival, specifically threats she claims that were made against her and her family's business. But these cross, these cross they cross the, cross the line. line. They cross the line. When, when I have employees that are terrified yeah. to even leave the back room because of what they were just told, um, yeah, it way crosses the line. West says the threats came by phone and she has no idea who was behind them. Bodily harm, um, burn my building, burn my business down. You know, um, it, and it came from different, you know, it came from the beginning to the end of this, this whole event blowing up. West says she reported everything to authorities. She even had armed security following her every move during the three-day music festival last month as a precaution. Aside from the threats, West has filed this lawsuit against her former co-event organizer, Matty Roberts, and his associates. It changed it 100%. Their campaign started at 6.45 on the morning show against me. Okay, so it sounds like you maybe are looking at changing venues. Possibly. Possibly. <laughs> it's all up in the air. We're putting Maddie on the spot here. There's a lot of challenges. <laughs> so. The lawsuit traces the fallout to this interview on Good Morning Las Vegas 10 days before the Alien Stock event when Maddie Roberts announced he'd be looking for a new venue away from Rachel, Nevada. The lawsuit says that led to mass confusion amongst the public and critical vendors and resulted in numerous cancellations, adding the actions of the defendants, as alleged, can only be interpreted as sabotage. A lot of what she's saying in there is not accurate and there's many witnesses to corroborate our, st our story. She is not a victim in this. Frank DiMaggio is Maddie Roberts' business partner and is also being sued. He maintains they did nothing wrong and plans to counter Sue West over the use of the alien stock name. We never told them anything was canceled out there. We just said the alien stock brand and Maddie Roberts would not be there. Okay, so they, they continued that on regardless. She said she'd worry about the legal ramifications at a, at a, a later 
a later date. 13 Investigates has obtained the original event permit, which lists Raid Rachel as the name of the event as of July 31st. But West's lawsuit says Roberts and West agreed to change the name to Alien Stock in the first part of August to soften the public's perception and to promote it as a fun music festival. 13 Investigates got a hold of emails from West to Lincoln County officials dated August 12th, which shows Alien Stock as the new name of the event. West is suing for trademark infringement, breach of contract, intentional interference, business disparagement, defamation, among other grievances. Her attorneys are asking for a cash award to be determined by a jury. Roberts and his associates have until next week to file their answers in court. Joe Bartels, 13 Action News. Well, new at 11 tonight, rare video tweeted out by the National Weather Service shows a cold front as it moved through Logan, Utah over the weekend. Now, one minute, things are pleasant. Look at this. The next, the neighborhood is covered. And I mean covered in snow. This video